Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video, and today I have my official episode 2 of what's on my Android. Now for those of you who don't know, I actually did recently make the switch from iOS to Android as my main mobile platform uh, and my main daily driver that I use every single day as my mobile phone, my smartphone, and essentially my main device that I carry around with me all the time. Now the device that I did choose to buy is the Google Nexus 4. This is the 16GB internationally unlocked variant of the device, uh, but it is also available on T-Mobile for $199. Uh, and also available in an 8GB model, both unlocked and locked from the Google Play Store uh, or from a T-Mobile store near you. Now I did choose the Nexus this series of devices because it does come with stock Android uh, and making the switch from iOS to an Android device I did want to get the cleanest uh, and most stock unadulterated Android experience possible and so I decided to go with the Google Nexus 4. Now I do understand that you can flash a ROM and run stock Android on other devices but I did want stock straight from Google, the creators of Android themselves. Now as you guys can see here on my lock screen I do have this widget here. Um, I do not exactly remember the name, of course I will have it in the description of this video, um, but I do really enjoy using it, it does have these updates and it, you can get your email notifications, weather, etc. On the left uh, I do have my messages and uh, on the left of that I also do have a Google Keep widget. All the way to the right I also do have my camera which uh, basically is part of the Android 4.2.2 .2, uh, stock Android build uh, and I do really like having my camera here, it's great for quick access to quickly uh, unlock your device and be able to take a photograph. Uh, I do really like using the camera on this device. Uh, it isn't the highest quality one, but it is nice because the interface is great to use, uh, and it's just a really nice experience using it overall. Now as you guys can see here, I do have a very simple layout. I do use uh, a simple three page setup on my Nexus 4 as you guys can see here. Each page consists of nine icons as well as a widget. Now let me run through them with you. On my main home screen, my center home screen, whatever you guys would like to call it, I do have my regular clock widget at the top and then my icons below it. The icons I have on this first page are Flipboard, Facebook, YouTube, The Verge, Google Hangouts, Google Maps, Gmail, Google Play Music, and Instagram. All of these applications are applications that I use the most often and every single day on a daily basis. Now in my dock, I do have my camera, Google Chrome, the app drawer launcher, my messages icon, as well as the phone dialer. On the page to the right of this, I also do have a very similar setup at the top, uh, or rather in the middle, I do have my nine icons. These include Google Drive, uh, the calculator widget, or rather the calculator application, Explore, Procrastination, Google Keep, uh, Super Hexagon, Google Play Movies, the Google Play Store, as well as the speed test application. Now the speed test application is one that I genuinely use uh, all the time just to see the different uh, area speeds or different internet speeds available in, in the area that I currently am in. At the top I also do have my widget of choice here which is battery uh, reborn widget or a battery widget reborn rather. I really do like using it, it also does integrate itself really nicely inside the notification bar uh, and I really do like this uh, widget. It is also available on the Google Play Store. Now over here on my last page, uh, again I do have a similar setup. Uh, at the top I do have uh, Eye in the Sky. This is a really nice weather widget for anyone to use on their device. It does work uh, across devices and does have these nice icons showing you the forecast for the next couple days. Uh, underneath that I do have my nine applications here as well. I do have Nova settings and Nova is the launcher that I'm using on my device. Calendar, Carbon, my XDA forums, settings, a stock gallery, SoundCloud, uh, Tumblr, and WhatsApp. Now these are also applications that I use on a daily basis and so I decided to put all of these, uh, well there's three pages of nine applications each so that would be 27 applications uh, if my math is right. But essentially guys that does about conclude this video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials and much much more please do remember to subscribe to the channel. Also for those of you who are wondering I will have the winner of my giveaway announced very soon on this channel. I am just waiting for a couple more entries to come in to reach another goal that I set for myself and then will announce the winner publicly on this channel uh, in, an, uh, in a giveaway winner video. Either way guys that does about conclude this video. Uh, thanks for watching and as always I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.